Stop. If you love your mom, then uh, hit like and press subscribe. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of our No Man's Sky playthrough series. And I'm turning this into a series because the first episode was well received by you guys. So, yep, right now I am on the habitable planet Many, which is uh, in our current star system. And um, I guess today we need to build a shelter for ourselves to protect us ourselves from the storm. And um, I guess we are going to explore the space station, a space station that is present in the star system also. So, uh, yep, let's get to it. Fine, so I initially landed on planet many only because I had received a distress signal from a machine like this. So it is saying something, let us just read it. I need to decipher the signal right now. It is decoding it and um, okay, okay, fine. It is asking us to create a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Okay, so I guess our first priority needs to be building the uh, base computer but for that we need chromatic material which can be uh, refined from copper which in turn we need to uh, mine with the help of a terrain manipulator. So um, first we need to build our, we need to create our terrain manipulator. So let me just collect the stuff and I'll be back. Okay guys, so uh, I just need to install this technology to our uh, what de ever this device is called. We need dihydrogen jelly. Let me just install the other two while we are at it. A personal force field and um, what else is there? Uh, a bolt caster. Fine. So now that we've installed them, I need to actually get into the process of creating our terrain manipulator. So I need dihydrogen jelly, which I can make right now. And uh, I guess carbon nanotubes. Yep. Yep. Okay, so apparently I guess I need a wee bit more of carbon to create another carbon nanotube. So uh, I guess I need to mine some stuff and I'll be back again. So now that we have all that we need, let me just go and install our terrain manipulator into our waveform focuser N56P. That is what the device is called. So now I guess we can manipulate the terrain, uh, which means that I can create holes in the ground whenever I want, wherever I want, on any planet or any surface. And I guess I can mine. Uh, I, I guess I can mine stuff like uh, copper and uh, other uh, concentrated ores, which are found on specific sites on this planet or any other planet. Uh, let me just scan this life form first. Uh, I cannot pronounce but um, we let it be and uh, I just need to find a copper site okay that is a buried technology area and um, I guess our starship is that way and this is a carbon this is a copper deposit I guess yep so let's go there I'll be back guys Okay, planet gave me some sweet, sweet copper, which I need to craft my chromatic material. And that is the last bit of copper left on this deposit. So let me get back to our starship. And now I need to place my portable refiner so that I can refine the copper I just mined into chromatic material. So in where is the copper? I think I need to scroll down. Yep, there it is. And uh, in goes the copper. I, I'll just place it according to what I want. How much chromatic material I need. And let's begin the process. And I guess it's done right now, I guess. Okay, so let me just transfer that to my exosuit. And I cannot take back my carbon, so I'll just pick this portable refiner up. And now, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I do not have the chromatic material, uh, the chromatic metal I need. So I guess I won't be able to fix this base computer anywhere right now. 
Yep, I can't. Let me just get into my spaceship for once. And I, before I make more chromatic material, I'll find a, a good site, a flat area for us to create our shelter. I guess this will do. Uh, let me just get out of there. And... Yep, I can't obviously fix my base computer on that spot because I do not have chromatic material. So let me just craft more. Right, so we have created more chromatic metal and I place the base computer down. And I think it is going to scan the whole planet's surface and claim this site for my own use. Yep, it is doing what I just told. And I guess now I will be able to build my shelter to protect myself from the storm which is going to hit us. And uh, I guess right down there will, will be a good space near the distress signal machine, whatever. Yep, so let's get to it. So I am going to place down my first piece of floor on this planet. And I'm going to make it red in color because I like red. So there that goes. And I guess I'm going to do a really small base right now because the storm will be here any minute now. And uh, right now my priority is only to protect myself from the storm. Here it is, here it is. I need to build these walls. Wait, I don't think I will be able to complete the build just right now. So let me just place a roof above this thing and I guess I'll be safe inside here for the time being. I can still try to complete some walls or some roofs while being inside here. I head out of the shelter for a bit because I desperately need some ferrite dust to craft, to create or rather to build a bit more roof. And let me just collect all of this ferrite dust because I need to make my shelter habitable and I guess the storm is out now so I don't need to build the roof right now but I guess I should now I need to place just one last piece of roof to complete our first shelter on this new planet and I promise you my builds are going to get better as time passes this is this was just an emergency hut kind of situation to protect myself from the storm let me uh, do I need to pick it up or no I think I'll just let it be let me just check out the base computer for a while it actually wants to see something okay I'll click on extract plans again and I I have to build a construction research unit right now and I I am planning of keeping it inside our shelter because what good it is just empty so for that I need to find up find berry technology modules. There was a berry technology module lying just next to our shelter this whole time and I am going to use my terrain manipulator to find or dig up our berry technology modules and let me just access it. Fine. I've got what I needed. I got I've got salvage data. And let me just seal this right back up. Sealed it back up and I guess we have completed one of the tasks I had set to be completed in today's episode. And can I remove this because it is slightly irritating? I guess I can't. So now let me head into my starship and now I need to go to our space station in this star system. I'm sorry guys, I totally forgot about one thing. I need to place the construction research unit in our shelter and then I can head into my starship and... Okay, so I'll research buildable technology first. And this is a base teleport module which I can use to... Uh, which I can use to travel directly to any space station or any other base which I have built in this universe. Now let me just check out Okay, I just checked it out again. <laughs> Let me just look at what else do we have? Our uh, structures. Yep, I need to look at the buildable structures. And we have unlocked four right now. And as we 
progress through the game as we get more uh, salvage data I can unlock more of this stuff and I guess we can build metal and concrete shelters also yep we can do that so now without further ado let's just get into our starship and visit the space station fine so I just changed the um, settings from first person to third person because according to me the third person mode looks better while I'm flying our starship and I am out of the planet's orbit out of the planet's atmosphere I'm sorry and where is the space station exactly I guess it was a bit towards this way yep I can see the yellow hexagon pointing me towards the space uh, the space station it is next to UNOSC Alpha the planet we spawned on and I am going to use warp speed pulse engine whatever you want to call it and in around 20 seconds we will be at the space station so I have planned a different thing for you guys in our next episode in the third episode of this series and uh, it's technically going to be more of an exploration episode where I uh, explore the other planets in the system speaking of that we have reached the space station which is shaped like a giant pyramid I see an opening or a gateway type of thing over here and we are in the space station I guess we have aliens over here whom we can talk to so I guess we so I guess I'm going to end this episode right here it was a bit slow but I guess we got two tasks two tasks done today which was to build our shelter and visit the space station both necessary tasks so yep I'll let me just check out what we are going to do next so yep we are exploring this planet and this planet or moon I do not know yet if it's a planet or a moon and the Udnev system is pretty amazing so I'm going to end this episode right here thanks guys for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and share this video if you can also make sure to follow my Instagram page the link is in the description below and also do let me know in the comment section if you like this video and also tell me if you want to see something different in my upcoming few videos so thank you stay tuned and goodbye